You know, the red handle thing sitting right over there? I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> um, would you please be so kind as to hand me the needle nose pliers, my love? But certainly, darling. Right away. There you go. So, um, what are you working on, anyways? Well, uh... This is the Cultural Glimpsomatic 6000 with Santa Mod Flux Capacitor Induction System. Where in the world did you get that from? Well, uh, don't say anything, but uh, I kind of stole it from this French guy's silver carriage. It's really hideous. The doors opened up like this, like a bird or something. It's ridiculous. Did did you say Santa like Santa Claus? I didn't know he was French. I didn't say Santa Claus was French, but the owner of the carriage was. You know how I know? Because the back of the carriage said De L'Orient. Okay. So now that we know where you got all of this stuff from, what does it actually do? I'm so glad you asked, my dear. Yeah, and I'll regret it. And why are you clicking over there the whole time? I'm texting. Well, stop. Teenagers. Well, you see, the CG6000 SSTM CI whatever, the, it, it, basically what it does is it creates a temporal portal that allows me to capture all visual images along with um, audiophonic uh, um, sounds to present them in a uh, media that is visible and audible to members around the world. So it's basically the internet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, my dear. Al Gore won't be born for another 82 years. <laughs> yes, all I have to do is increase the power here to 1.21 gigawatts and... Explosions, fire, gosh! <clears throat> Technically, it's not an explosion, my dear. It's just a minor malfunction, and I've pretty much already got it fixed anyway, so, uh... Um, Dad, I think your friends at the Wild Wild West Steampunk Convention, um, and the Weird Science Guild are ready for you. The what? Your, your geek friends. Oh, my geek friends. <laughs> oh, uh, um... Yes, uh, hello Bear. Bear, are you there? We seem to be having a slight bit of technical difficulties, um, but um, if, you're, uh, if you're ready, um, I think we can get started. We got you loud and clear, David. Oh, and don't worry, we didn't see a thing. Oh, good. I mean, it's wonderful to see you lovely people in Arizona. Um, I, I do feel I have to warn you, I've received some disturbing transmissions that uh, there is a, um, uh, about a certain shady character there. You see, there's a certain in, um, individual who, despite his good looks and charm, is not quite the person you think he is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please do yourselves a favor and do not make eye contact with a certain Mr. John Fitzsimmons Strangeway. He is by no means at all... Uh, um, uh, a safe character, he's quite shady. Yes, uh, I've had previous encounters with a chap and he is quite, uh, how shall we say, quite fond of manhandling, slapping, cupping, and groping uh, individuals uh, gluteus maximus. Sometimes quite violently, I might add. Ladies, uh, don't be concerned as much, uh, however the real danger lies for the gentleman. But, uh, Okay. Anyway, I am not here to uh, lecture on the dangers of Mandalorian debauchery. I am here to tell you about my latest invention. 
This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Cultural Glimpsomatic 6000 with Santa Mod uh, Flux Capacitor Induction System. Yes, that's right. Uh, and what does it do, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because with the CG6000, one is able to glimpse into the world of steampunks from other cultures around the world. Again, it's basically the internet. Yes, just like the internet. Anyway, perhaps a demonstration would be best in order. Con, Arizona. And thanks to Dave Lee for giving us this opportunity to introduce ourselves to you, noble comrades from alternative dimensions. Arx Team, a French group of independent artists working together since 2009, the year Maurice created. With many of us living in the world, friends, we work on several science fiction fashion styles and culture without frontiers. But because that's the point here, we are also making steampunk by keeping the punk side and the freedom of imagination, mixing the influence and the ideas. Well, let's begin with these questions they've asked us to answer so you'll know us better. The science fiction universe set in the 19th century at the time of steam machine and industrial a revolution with a touch of Belleport and Victorian area background. Basically, Jules Verne and A.G. Wells paved the path of steampunk, giving it all the aesthetics and set the founding stones of the world where man and machine work together, like in cyberpunk, but with the technological call of this area. No petrol, no nuclear power. Just coal, brass, copper and paddle steel alongside the most complex steamy pipings and gigantic constructions. But it's not just a question of living in the past. This is not something historical. We don't look at the steampunk through the historical prism, but as a framework for an alternative universe, an alternative time. We think it as retrofuturism, like if the world evolved for decades, centuries, keeping these cultural and technological ways instead of the world we are living in. It's alternate history, even dystopian. This is for the base, but steampunk for us is also made by two core values. Do-it-yourself and multiculturalism. There are as many steampunk than creators and cultures. There is no single steampunk, but an infinity of it. Everybody can have his own vision. Steampunk is not just moustached gentlemen, aristocrats, with fit coats or pearl skinners, dandies, with explorer goggles and top hats. It's not only in Victorian England or Second Empire France, there are just some aspects. The world is not Occident alone. Then, for us, steampunk has to be multicultural. Its richness is due to this capacity to renew itself. Imagine different cultures, African or Asian, for example, having the same industrial revolution in its time. Kimonos or sours can fit with leather and copperish gears. What a melting pot diversity! And there's where the do-it-yourself come in. To give birth to all these ideas of steampunkizing foreign cultures, to give it different ethnical touch, one must take in making it, crafting it, and go beyond the classical cliches. Steampunk hasn't one color, but all of them. Which brings us to the second question. Fus B. Racial. I'm really interested in other cultures and ethnicities. I take my inspiration in one side, from my Vietnamese heritage for my creations. The impact of my family is important in my creative work, giving another image of steampunk via my creations. And 
in the other side because I was born and live in New Caledonia. There was a strong nautical influence in my creation and props. I want to make a tribute to the South Pacific Island, to the Maori and Tahitian cultures, but also with my Atlantis Space Suite, a tribute to Atlantis, Captain Nemo, and his Nautilus, as much as the video games Bioshock. At least, overall, I consider myself a citizen of the world, so I like to take inspiration from every culture to create my costumes, whether occidental or oriental. So, I give an international, even interplanetary, vision of steampunk with, for example, my Tuaregs of Mars costume. As Maurice, I think myself as a world inhabitant, but I can deny my French and Moroccan origins. So I like to mix these cultures with Maghrebian props and classical fashion steampunk style. Following this, I made a Zouave costume to honor these two sides of my blood. The funny part is that I discovered at the same time that I hired a great grandfather who was an official in the Zouave regiment during World War II. I'm also working on a costume of steampunk Jim Hunter, which totally provides the Arabic aspect. I created before Dark Steam Group because I want to create something different. I want to use steampunk style and ultra-futurist influence to, to do something special, freak and uh, different Bef uh, before. And now uh, steampunk uh, for me is not uh, only the, the only the one terms I want to, to exploit. The French steampunk is essentially focalized on Victorian era and Belle Epoque, but we choose to, in the beginning, to include some multiculturalism and provide the do-it-yourself way of life. That's why we call it star dark steam, and we. We choose to, um, to create a um, different universe, science fiction universe. We, make, we, we define ourselves as craft, crafters in alternative universes. So we made uh, Dark Steam. In Dark Steam, we make steampunk. We make um, American Cyber War. We make cyberpunk. We make atom punk. Atom punk. We make uh, post apocalyptic world like Mad Max, we make stalker style and we make we're also doing some few cosplays some props in cosplays in costumes like in the Warhammer 40,000 universe but too many too many universe we exploit in all this case we all we do is to do is some is to do more with punk so Come to join us on this today. They started searching secret pages but soon extended their efforts on a road not taken, full of electricity and rain, where bridges to nowhere are easily crossed. Storm after storm, hurricane after hurricane, panic rose in the hydrogen green gondola, but they stayed on course and made it to unknown territories. Hunted down by armies of villains and hordes of pirates, they crossed an anomaly to a parallel world and found shelter in a ship called Distern, where they met another version of themselves and drank to yesterday's tomorrows. Codes 501 fill the trash can. Last news they sent has been exclassified. They are Victor Sierra. They travel your world. They travel your space, they travel your time, 
and maybe you attended one of their gigs in British North America, in Badlands, in New Yiddish Land, or even in the Australian Empire. What's a steampunk? Actually, more than being a mere projection of the mind towards a future that could have been, steampunk offers possibilities of immortality. If time lives its bed and alters its normal flow from A to Z, from past to present and from present to future, we can travel from here to eternity and return. If history can choose all ways of evolution simultaneously, if human beings make evolution, if evolution doesn't follow the chronological path, it gives us a sense of eternity. Steampunk is the place where no one ever dies. When we came to perform at Steampunk World's Fair 2012, we left a part of ourselves in the US. So, you run an event, a convention? Feel free to contact us anytime at gigs at victorsierra.net. 2015 will see the release of Victor Sierra's third album. team of a coalition called the Clockwork Cabinet in Germany. I'm Emily Everwick. I'm Farrick Furnace. My name is Dominikus von Sterneisen. The Clockwork Cabinet is a convention in March which lasts over two days and it takes place in a fantastic art deco villa. We call that Jugendstil. What we offer is bands, acts, readings, artists, merchants, so everything that a steampunk art would desire. It all takes place in the medieval city of Nuremberg. We started planning the event about a year ago when we found out that there aren't many events in Germany, let alone in our region. What does steampunk mean to our group? This question is easily answered. We all love steampunk. The combination of art, culture and craftsmanship Combine the old and tried and tested with new technology is just pretty awesome. We do have different approaches to steampunk though. All of us craft. Ferric here works with metal. Dominicus upcycles a lot. And I myself, I prefer painting and writing. And steampunk is a lifestyle for us. What is the favorite thing about steampunk? The creativity and the materials used. And of course, the very style of neo-Victorian clothes. It is quite fun to meet others wearing the same historic clothes at events such as the Victorian picnic at the Weltgotik Treffen in Leipzig. The community is also one aspect that we really like. Walking around an event in those clothes and meeting people with the same interests is fun. How do we blend German culture with the steampunk culture? Well, first of all, what's noticeable are the names. There are lots of fun and zoos on every event. Also, we have a lot of historical buildings around, like imperial palaces from the Prussian or Austrian or Bavarian kings, and they're just perfect for events. Just picture it. You have a picnic in front of such an estate. That's great, isn't it? Uniforms are also seen quite often at events. And compared to America, Weird West is barely seen around here. You have rather costumes based on royal dresses. Compared to the States, our gatherings are rather small. We do have local gatherings, the so-called Stammtische. And steampunk is basically less known in Germany. And if we go out like this, we do have to do a lot of explaining. And it's not on the brink to mainstream. We're the Clockwork Cabinet. Auf Wiedersehen. Servus. Habe die Um, I'm a Dutch steampunk model and um, I've been doing this for four years now. 
Um, about two years, two and a half years ago, I started my own airship. Uh, it's called Airship the Peregrine. And uh, right now, together with photographer uh, Ruth de Korte, we're working on a background story to the airship and how I found my crew and um, what drives us to fight for justice, basically. You should keep an eye out on that because it will be pretty damn cool. Um, steampunk to me is an outlet to my creativity. I just love uh, working on props, uh, building guns, yay! Um, but also seeing what other people make of it. Uh, old stuff they've got lying around the house and they build like these immense objects uh, of steampunk. I just love it. Uh, so it's also a great um, inspiration to me basically. Um, I don't really use any cultural influences in my outfits, I think. Um, I just kind of mix and match what I've got in my closet. Sometimes it works or it doesn't work. That's how it goes. Eh. <laughs> um, but I really like it when other people put cultural influences in their costumes. For instance, um, Emma McMurphy had a Dutch steampunk photo shoot last last summer she was wearing clogs like the wooden shoes and a typical dutch headdress and she was shooting uh, in the middle of um, a field with cows and it was kind of funny but it was also a really good shoot. Steampunk is pretty damn big here in the Netherlands uh, especially for a country this small uh, we've got loads of steamers yeah that's what we call steampunks we call them steamers it's just a little fact about us <laughs> Um, we've got, for instance, a lot of designers. You've got Rosie's art. Rosie made my mask. Thank you, Rosie. Uh, we've got Murphy's attire. Murphy's attire makes the clothes for Airship the Peregrine, which looks just very awesome. And uh, for instance, we have got um, steampunk leather worker Mike Cohen, and he makes leather braces and mechanical legs and masks and stuff like that. It just looks very, very good. Um, and there's just so much more to discover about the Netherlands, I suppose. Um, I'd like to invite you over and just have a look what we're all about. Uh, not only do we have a lot of steampunks, but our country is pretty cool. So yeah, you should come over. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hello, chaps. Want to come on a steampunk adventure? Come this way. It allows the imagination to go anywhere you want it to. And for steampunkers in Wamaru, the imagination stretches pretty far. What does steampunk mean for me? The, it's mystery and imagination, creativity and collaboration, giving people the opportunity to create, giving them almost the permission to be themselves or be their other selves within the steampunk um, genre. Steampunk is essentially a European Victorian genre. Here in New Zealand we encourage people to incorporate elements of their own cultural identity into their characters and everything that they create. The League of Victorian Imagineers was born. Three years on, steampunks everywhere. What's been fantastic is that people with stuff in their sheds or yards of fabric that they've never thought that they could do anything with have got it out, played with it and been able to contribute. Punk in New Zealand is more intimate because we're such a small nation. It's so easy to keep in touch with the whole country, not just the people in your Victorian town. Do you believe in time travel and different dimensions? Absolutely. <laughs> We're from the Victorian the third dimension. We've been sent here to work and protect the people of Omaru. Some people might listen to what you're saying and think, these people are off their rockers. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's okay. You know, we still go to the supermarket and buy food because we really have to blend seamlessly into the um, current dimension. Yes, it just allows people that anything goes creative imagination. So here we are. Mm. The capital of steampunk in New Zealand, maybe the world, certainly the mecca of steampunk world. Everybody in steampunk has to come down with something. Okay, that's all for now. See you on the flip side. For our last demonstration, I would like to bring your attention to the Chicago World Fair in 1893. Yes, yes, I realize that is in the future, however, completely irrelevant. You see, at the 1893 Chicago World Fair, American audiences were introduced for the first time on a large scale to Egyptian culture. And one of these Egyptian um, wonders was the dancer named Little Egypt. And Little Egypt would go on to inspire over generations and generations, countless women and men who would take on the wonderful art of belly dance. And here to share that with you uh, is my wife uh, dancing to a piece from a fantastic um, band, also from the future, the uh, Squirrel Nut Zippers. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Ayla Bariana. <laughs>
foster at the hotel paradise This is what I told him as I gazed into his eyes Rooms were made for carpets, towers made for spires Ships were made for cannonade to fire off from inside them Camptown ladies never sang, oh let you die, no, no, no Ladies never saying all the food on it. No, no. Foster at the Hotel Paradise. This is what I told him as I gazed into his eyes. Ships were made for sinking, whiskey made for drinking. If we were made of cellophane, we'd all get stinking drunk much faster. <laughs> Camptown ladies never sang all the do not No, no, no. <laughs> 